You've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw him a bone. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. How are things back in Abkhazia? Thanks to the full efforts of the workers, power was restored in just two days. Pretty impressive. Only the power plant is back online, though. Refinery itself will likely be out of service for months. Fuel sent from Supsa is being used to power the plant for now. Ah, just wish I could have stopped him. Impossible without a sniper. And in our focus on anti-cyborg combat, we were... unprepared. Thankfully, other than financial losses, few Abkhaz citizens were seriously affected. The plant workers had already been evacuated, and most were hired back on to rebuild the refinery. We received payment, and are not being blamed for the suicide blast. Good to hear. It should go a long way to help fix our reputation. Duh. And even more good news. Desperado is down one of its top captains. Let's hope they learned a lesson. We can hope, but it is doubtful. We still do not know who is supporting them. Even if we shut Desperado down entirely, their backers could simply hire some other PMC. Whoever it is, you really think they're interested in a pipeline? Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? Mmm, hard to say. Whatever the plan was, it went up in flames with Dolcayev's suicide. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the BTC pipeline. 
Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Yeah, one thing we do know, though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking or not, we need to stop their operation here. Find the evidence, and perhaps we can do that. And Tovaric, be careful. Miss Trowell mentioned someone from her past. Any idea who that could have been? None. I checked her file again, couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzaev. Probably not Sundowner either. No. The way she put it, it didn't sound like anyone I've encountered so far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing more than just financing. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for their leaders aren't so easy to predict. Yeah, but other than the wins, Desperado's cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably emotions suppressed with nanos or drugs or whatever, but that's about it. Hmm. You're probably right. I can't believe Dolzaev blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause, but it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzaev showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. Aiden, shall we review the capabilities of your new body? Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from C's nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, the repair process is a bit more involved. A bit more messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian? I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed, indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh?
Uh, Wolf? You're a one-of-a-kind prototype, right? Correct. I was originally conceived as a weapon to replace humans and cyborgs. Conversation and intelligent decision-making were deemed essential to the role. The project was eventually cancelled after three years in development. Why? I have intelligence, but I lack a specific quality essential to any combatant. What's that? Brutality. I am not human. Thus, I lack the brutality inherent to humanity. Hmm. I was shut down, then revived, apparently on Sundowner's orders. Sundowner? But what's he want with you? Unknown. A manifestation of his sense of humor, perhaps. As a machine, I am more sensitive to my fellow man than an actual fellow man. This amused him. <laughs> Guy has an odd sense of humor. Right. Unidentified UGs are patrolling the sewers. Exercise caution. <laughs> Attention down there. I know.
Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Ah, oh, damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you know one of them Skunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who they is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, me been live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What well, the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scum don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a pickable doji container. Next thing we know, we're here at that zombie lab. All kids? Like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scum wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran. Uh-huh. Is she me not a bad-ass robot ninja man? Same as you! Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just plain, nah? Me done plenty bad thing. 
But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, I would his brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of that technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past?
intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your Soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice.
This would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlay to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot.
Raiden, if they continue to increase security, they may shut out all outside network connections. Please do your best to avoid being seen. That room. Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere, but they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting, did they seem like they might be kids? You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah. But I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. And the other kids George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. Probably best you stay out of there. We don't want to risk harming any of the brains. Input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto cyborgs' heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious.
The terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Titan, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs. Guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. Sending one 
old Georgie boy used on the kids in Liberia. Of course, it's wiped straight to the brain now. Feels as real as anything else. Your work is astonishing. And your work is late. We need to ship before our cover is blown. We've got some assholes snooping around. We just do not have the food quantity yet. Each brain has its own unique requirements. It's not like we can just pop them out with an ice cream scoop. <laughs> All right. Make your point. Oh, <laughs> thank you for understanding. Say what you have now. I will destroy any unharvested inventory. Okay? But have you any idea what they cost? Last night, actually, children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes. yes you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Tecumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. He definitely seemed familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving.
Hydra is blocking the way. Push that thing back. I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a certain private... World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest. Ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. <laughs> Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshal and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs. You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and just no. Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus, Kevin out.
Ah, an artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? I could not say. Perhaps they plan to set off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, Raiden. Right. Anesthetic in smaller doses, but breathe too much of it. And adios, muchachos. Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out. Surrender, or decide the needs of the many, or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting. What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Cállate! Thank you. 